it's Brock here from Rock Hill Farms and today I'm headed out to my dealership to pick up a new attachment for my tractor so that always puts me in a good mood but I thought on the way I'd mention a pretty cool experience I just had recently I spend a lot of time in the dealership if you've seen my equipment shed you know I've got uh, an assortment of attachments and so I've got to know the guys in there quite a bit and they know I do YouTube so they asked me if I wanted to film a review and talk about the dealership and my experience with buying my tractor and how I like the tractor and I mean why not right so they sent a small crew out here with professional equipment they did a great job they made a nice video um, better than I can do as far as the video quality and the editing and if you're interested in watching it I'll put a link to their video in the description of this video but basically they just kind of asked me what my experience was like with the tractor I've got a full review on the tractor it's fantastic I love it um, the versatility to be able to take the backhoe on and off in just a couple of minutes with no tools you know same thing with the mower deck how easy it is to swap between different attachments and then the overall design of the tractor and how ergonomic everything and user-friendly everything is um, I've been really happy with it I've been really happy with the dealership I have phone numbers where I can call or text directly to the salesman or the service manager and you know get answers right away if I need something or I want to schedule service um, when they have my equipment in for service because I don't just have the tractor I've got two mowers um, that I bought from them stand on John Deere a 636m and a 652r and so I've got the service plans with those and when I have my equipment in for service I get text message updates to let me know where we stand so overall it's been a great experience and I didn't have any problem with giving them a review so like I said if you want to check it out it'll be in the description otherwise stay tuned and I'll show you what I ordered and what I'm picking up today when we get to the dealership all right so as we're pulling in the dealership here it still catches me off guard a little bit because I'd been coming to this dealership for quite a while and this entire front section where you see that larger equipment used to be completely packed full with all your different models of subcompact and compact tractors there were you know five or six 2038Rs some of them had backhoes you know different configurations and different packages they had and mostly all that's gone uh, tractor sales are up and tractor production is down with this crazy 2020 we've had so nationwide across pretty much all the brands it's harder now than ever to get one of these compact tractors a lot of people are waiting months at a time it seems like the larger equipment like what you're seeing back here isn't so much in a shortage but the compact tractors are pretty much hard to get at this point I'm pulling back to the back here there's the service department which is massive and but I always pull back here so they can just set the equipment into the trailer without uh, getting in anyone else's way I always used to just think about John Deere as a tractor manufacturer but that doesn't even begin to encapsulate what they really have they've got a full line of equipment like you can see here with the mini excavators and the skid steers um, they finally have got some 1025s back in the gators never really sold out but these 1025s and 1023s were not available at all recently there's a 4066m I believe or a 4052m these right here are a beast of a tractor when they have a lot of the same features as 
the other compact tractors but look at the size of those tires and just the horsepower difference I mean obviously as you go up in tractor size you're sacrificing a little bit of being able to get into tight spaces but it's still got a decently small footprint for the amount of lifting power it has and of course up here they've got their mower line up in front of the store I was really close to getting a 900 series sit down mower and I ended up going with the two stand on mowers alright so that's what I'm here for today it was actually kind of hard to find one of these in stock too. That is a Frontier 7 foot landscape rake. It's adjustable to five positions in each direction. And I've got a lot of projects I'm looking forward to getting started with this rake. Well, I'm back with the landscape rake, and unfortunately, I really don't think I can do anything with it today. I've got a lot of work that I want to do with this, but it's just so muddy out right now. We had a huge snowfall that just melted off yesterday, and you can actually still see a little bit of the snow out there as it's melting. Um, we're supposed to get all the way up to 60 degrees tomorrow, so it should all be gone. But my plans for this... Um, include leveling out soil, leveling out rock, um, if we cut a tree down and clean up all the parts usable for firewood, then you're gonna have all those sticks that broke off when it fell and that sort of thing. You can very easily rake them up with this. And then another big one is the baseball field that I manage. So I take care of a high school size baseball field that takes a lot of work to maintain and we really do not have any equipment that belongs to the ball field to maintain it with. Um, there's a couple of like really old flat drags and spike drags and things but we don't have anything specifically there to pull them with. We end up using somebody's mower or you know whatever we can do the last few years and now that I've got this tractor I'm excited to be able to use that to do a better job of maintaining that field and doing some of the jobs that were kind of overlooked just because we didn't have the ability to do it. And I think this landscape rake will do a great job of loosening up the infield and the warning track um, and spreading it out after I till it. Like down here I tilled a spot that was just really uneven like this and I tilled it up to flatten it out and I think this right here after allowing that tilled soil to sit and pack just a little bit down I think this would have smoothed that out pretty good so I'm also planning to set it up to run it on the front end loader as well as the three point I'm looking at a couple different options for how I want to mount this on to the front end of my tractor but whatever I can figure out for this, I will also use just for moving all my attachments around here because, you know, I've got more attachments than I do space to store them. That's why I built this rack here, and I've got a few more ideas of how I'm going to keep everything covered as my inventory of attachments continues to grow. I think it'll be really handy to be able to move three-point attachments with the front-end loader. So basically... I've never owned a landscape rake, 
but I've been watching a lot of videos and it seems like it might be kind of a underappreciated tool. So I can't wait to show you uh, the first day that it gets dried out probably. I'll get this put on the tractor and we'll get some work done with it. Well, that's probably enough of me talking about it. So I'll go ahead and get it unloaded and give you a little bit better look of the features of the exact product I bought. Most of the time when I move something like this, I hook chains through the top link area, but uh, this has a wide flat plate. And I think I can easily slide the forks right under it and lift it off pretty well. We'll find out in a second though. All right, so this is a model LR5084. That's a seven foot or 84 inch landscape rake. If you look right here, it's got five spots here and then five on the other side. So there's actually 10 positions this can be operated in facing five forward, five reverse. It looks like the tines are about an inch wide with an inch spacing in between them. Pretty simple piece of equipment, but also versatile. All right, well, I really appreciate you taking time to watch this video. In a minute, you'll see links on the screen right here to a couple more of our videos, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>